Antibodies have different regions. There are the variable regions, which bind the antigens, and then there is the base, what's known as the constant heavy chain. This heavy chain can be switched in what's known as class switching through five different possibilities. IgM is uh, a heavy chain which attaches the antibody to the B cells. IgG is secreted into the blood plasma. IgA is secreted from the body, such as in tears along the GI tract and in milk. IgE attaches to mast cells and is involved in allergies. When someone produces IgG in response to an antigen, the IgG antibodies bind to the antigen, and this can promote phagocytosis. This can attract complement proteins. This can destroy the antigen through a number of separate pathways. When IgE is produced in response to an antigen, something different happens. After a first sensitizing dose, IgE is produced and it attaches onto mast cells. Mast cells exist in connective tissue and they contain granules of inflammatory factors. So in the future, when the antigen binds to IgE, given that it is attached to uh, the cell membranes of mast cells, it causes the mast cells to degranulate, releasing their inflammatory factors, and this then uh, would result in an inflammatory response whenever the antigen is uh, present. Someone who produces IgG in response to the antigen does not have this inflammatory response.